Hello, welcome to African Home Building News brought to you by PE Life. From our studios at Ofanko in the top stories, the Coalition of La Association has given the La Traditional Council a three week ultimatum for an update on the reclaimed captured lands. The Eastern Regional Minister has stressed the importance of architects' active participation in the built environment and in international news aggregate price of home in Canada set to increase in the last quarter of 20. 23. It was sponsored by Phoenix Homes and their presence in Bellissimo Valley and Sirino Woods projects located at a bridge in the eastern region. These projects and units can be used as Airbnb accommodation for the family, for vacation homes or for short let rentals. Kindly visit them at www.phoenixhomesgh.com for your unit today. Also, we're inviting you to the Trading Green Conference as part of the African Housing Show happening on the 4th and 5th of November 2023 at the Wembley Stadium in London. Kindly register at www.africanpropertyawards.com to be part of this exhibition. I am Nanaya Ochirebi and now the news in details. Kola gives La Traditional Council ultimatum on collectured land. The Coalition of La Associations Kola has given the La Traditional Council a three-week ultimatum to update the people of La on the state of the 114 acres of reclaimed collectured lands from the military. Kola made this demand during news conference addressed by its spokesperson, Mr. Jeffrey Tete in Accra. On September 22, 2023, the La Traditional Council performed traditional rights to signify the reclamation of 114 acres of land retrieved from the Ghana military base in Accra. These acres were part of a larger 350-acre parcel of land that the Traditional Council had been working to claim from the military over the years. Mr. Tete expressed frustration that since that meeting, the traditional authorities have failed to update the people of law on the state of the retrieved lands. He also accused the authorities of lacking transparency and truthfulness in their dealings regarding the reclaimed cleptural lands and other associated lands sought by the people. Mr. Tata further alleged that the traditional authorities were working in collaboration with the government to take lands that rightfully belong to the people of law. He called on the chiefs to take a more active role and lead the community effectively. Moving on, the Ghana Institute of Architects, GIA, and the Eastern Regional Coordinating Council, RCC, organized a town hall meeting with a theme, Architects and the Community, as part of the GIA 60th anniversary celebration. Mr. Seth Kwame Champon, the Eastern Regional Minister, highlighted infrastructure deficit in Ghana's development and stressed the importance of architects' active participation in the built environment. The rapid growth of urban assemblies in the East region presented an opportunity for well-planned development with input from architects and other stakeholders to enhance the area's attractiveness. The president of GIA, Mr. Foster Osai Akono, emphasized that architecture involves designing and modulating space for human habitation, whether for living, working, or recreation. He mentioned that the GIA is working with the local government ministry to ensure that the competent architects record Recognized by the GIA are engaged at every district assembly in the country. Now, away from that, in a remarkable achievement, the transformation of Shelter Africa into Shelter Africa Development Bank, Shaft DB, was successfully steered during the extraordinary general meeting EGM held in OGS, Algeria, from October 4th to 5th, 2023. The transformation of Shelter Africa to Shelter Africa Development Bank heralds a new era of acceleration progress reflecting the organization's commitment to addressing Africa's housing challenges with renewed vigor and determination. Shelter Africa Development Bank is a leading development finance institution dedicated to providing financing solutions for affordable housing projects across Africa focusing on collaboration, innovation, and sustainability. Shaf DB aims to transform the housing sector and improve the lives of millions of people in Africa. Please. 
Please stay with us as we go for a short break. We would be right back. From the break, this is African Home Building News brought to you by P Life from our studios at Afanko. My name is Nanaya Ochribia. This is international news, and we are focusing on Canada. Real estate firm Royal LePage is forecasting the aggregate price of a home will increase 7% in the final quarter of 2023 compared with the same period last year, downgrading its previous outlook of 8.5%. More than half of the 63 regional market analysts by the company for its latest house price survey posted a quarter of a quarter price decline in the third quarter over sales actively softened. Aggregate home prices in Toronto and Vancouver regions fell 2.8% and 1.8% respectively compared with the previous quarter while the Greater Montreal area posted a 0.6% aggregate price increase. That's all for news in the top stories the coalition of La Association has given the La Traditional Council a three-week ultimatum for update on the reclaimed cultural lands. The Eastern Regional Minister has stressed the importance of architects' active participation in the built environment and in the international news aggregate price of home in Canada set to increase in the last quarter of 2023. Thank you for staying with us. Now, before we leave, African producers of cocoa powder, coconut oil, coconut chips and plantain chips are looking for distributors and wholesalers in the UK and in Europe. If you're interested, kindly contact the numbers on your screen. For more news, kindly visit our website www.propertyexpress.org. You can also reach us on social media, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. This has been PE Live. I am Nanaya Otrebia. Have a good time.